Hello, my name is Guy Pellet and I'm the uh, Chief Architect of uh, Visual Web GUI and today I'm going to show you how to create an Ajax Explorer application in 10 minutes using uh, Visual Web GUI. So let's start by creating a new uh, Visual Web GUI application. We will open uh, Visual Studio and go to the uh, File, New, Project and select the uh, Visual Web GUI application project and we have a new Visual Web GUI uh, application created. Our next step is to design the form, so let's go ahead and uh, open the form. Let's enlarge the uh, form and add uh, our controls to the form. Let's go ahead and add a uh, tree view control. Add the tree view. It will define the uh, docking to the left. And let's enlarge the uh, tree view. Okay. Now let's add a uh, splitter. Let's go ahead and add a list view control. And we will go ahead and dock the uh, control to the uh, top. Now let's go ahead and add a splitter. And let's, de let's define the splitter to be docked to the uh, top. And now let's go ahead and add an HTML box. And let's define the uh, HTML box to be docked to fill. Now let's go and add some columns to the uh, list view. We're going to add two columns. The first will be the uh, name column and the second will be the uh, size column. Now we're going to also define the list to use internal paging which will cause the list to uh, have a paging behavior without us needing to uh, implement it. Now let's go ahead and attach the uh, different events. We'll go and attach to the uh, form load event and we'll go and attach to the uh, before expand event of the tree view and we'll attach to the uh, after select event of the tree view and we'll attach to the uh, selected index changed of the uh, list view control. Our next step is to uh, implement the different event handlers and uh, populate the controls. So let's go ahead and uh, implement a new method. We'll call it private void load folders and it will receive tree node collection of nodes and string str path. And we'll go ahead and create a directory directory info info object. Let's add the uh, system.io namespace objdir equals new directory info str path. And we will go and loop for each directory info obj sub dir in obj dir dot get directories. We're going to define a new boolean called bln has nodes. It will be equal to obj sub dir dot get directories dot length is greater than zero. Now we're going to create a new tree node, obj node, and we're going to do new tree node. The uh, text will be obj node, no, obj sub dir dot name, and we're going to set the tag to be the uh, obj sub dir dot full name, and we're going to set the obj node dot is expanded attribute to the opposite, the negative of uh, bln has nodes, and obj node dot has nodes will be equal to bln has nodes, and obj node dot loaded will be also the negative of bln has nodes. And let's add an image to the uh, tree node will be image, it will be equal to new 
icon resource handle which we have to add a reference for and it's using gizmox.webgui.com in that resources and we're going to add resources to the project let's copy this directory and paste it under our project we have the uh, resources directory and within the resources directory we have the icons directory and we have two files one is the uh, folder gif and the other is the file gif and we're going to use the uh, folder gif for the uh, tree node the icon resource handle points to within the uh, icons directory now let's go ahead and add the new created nodes node to the uh, node collection obj node and let's go ahead and call the uh, load folders direct uh, method from the uh, form load it will be this dot tree view dot nodes and the path will be to the uh, c inet pub dot slash www root and let's go ahead and implement the uh, before expand event and let's call do if e dot node dot loaded if this is false and we're going to do load folders and e dot node dot loaded equals true and we'll have to set the nodes of the uh, current node and the uh, path will be the path that we uh, stored within the uh, tag of the uh, node so now we should have a working tree now let's go ahead and implement the uh, after select event and in case of select we are going to do this dot list view dot items dot clear and we're going to have the uh, directory info object created object here and it will be new directory info and I will take the uh, value from the e.node.tag which is the path that we stored and let's go ahead and do it for each on all the uh, file info objects within the uh, object here dot get files And we're going to do list view item equals this will be obj item equals list view item dot items dot add with the obj file name which will be the uh, first column and let's add the uh, second column value it will be sub items dot add obj file dot size nope links dot to string and in the uh, tag we are going to store the uh, obj file dot tag sorry the obj file dot full name and let's add a uh, image to the uh, item it will be new icon resource handle and this time it will be to the uh, file dot gif and we have also the uh, list view populated and let's implement the uh, list view selected index change we're going to say this dot html box dot pass equals to string going to cast the uh, list view dot selected item dot tag which we stored the uh, full name and we have to do this dot html box dot update for it to work that concludes the uh, application development so uh, let's run the application and see if it's uh, if it's working it's built successfully and we have our tree view and we can go ahead and uh, explore the uh, tree view and we also can see the uh, different files within the uh, list view control
That concludes today's uh, webcast. Visual Web is available at uh, the online site. You can uh, register, download it from free install, and start developing your applications today. Hope you enjoyed this webcast. Thank you for watching.